My name is Juan de Biedma, and my tag is Hungry Box, or Liquid Hungry Box now. This is my, probably like my fourth CEO, I think. The funny story is, is that me and Alex Shabaley, like the whole reason CEO started is because back, way back when, maybe in 08 or 07, a guy named Manny wanted to host a big Florida national called GAM. And all these out-of-state, you know, FGC players came out and they flew through. And the guy out of nowhere dips and cancels the tournament. So we had all these guys flying in with nothing to go to. And so Jabaley, I posted in Smashboards thinking like, I want to start an event for Smash or whatever, like I think to go going. And Jabaley had a way grander idea. And so uh, Jabaley says, he contacts me, and I'm like 15 years old at the time, but he gives me this idea that he wants to do it. And so he put in all the legwork, of course, but he invited me to, you know, host, uh, help run Smash Bros at his event. It was, it was in the Central Florida Fairgrounds. And it was a lot different from the CEO we know today, but um, that's sort of where it all started. And we still had that kind of like community feel to it as well. And that's why a CEO is basically the perfect idea. Um, and so, you know, here we are today, and he's made a great name for himself now, so I'm really happy for him. So, uh, it's been a great event. But I think it's my fourth, fourth one, I think. The first tournament I ever won was probably either a house tournament or a small local somewhere. My first official tournament might have been one that was in uh, in Gigabits. And Gigabits was basically a land center at UCF, and they would have like 50 to 60 man monthlies, and going there was basically the best way to test your skill. So I'd go there, and my first tournament I got like tossed, completely destroyed, but I loved competing so much, like I really did. The thing with me was like, I played Jigglypuff, and for some reason, even when I lost to a player who was clearly ranked above me, I'm like, why the fuck did I lose that? And so I kept wanting to just go in. For some reason, I'm like, there's no reason I should lose. I, and it was the weirdest mindset for like a scrub like me to have, but eventually that's what got me to like stay hungry and basically keep competing. And so eventually I just kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And one day I went to a Kissimmee local and I just beat a guy named uh, Scratch and then a guy named Lamb Chops. This was way back in the day. And I had this thing called the third place curse. So I would, like, there was like 10 tournaments in a row then in 07 or 08 where I just got third place every single time. And eventually I broke out of that. And it was only a matter of time before I eventually beat Cobol and DeShizwiz, Flores top players. And in 09 I went pro and then I sort of started just cementing myself. But uh, my, my rise to, to being a top player was relatively and surprisingly quick, even in my, my own definition. I, I, I surprised myself from that a lot. But I think I was just in the right place in the right time, playing the right character. And I had the uh, sort of right support system in Orlando, Kissimmee, I had a crew called Wado, about 12 of us, and we all played different characters. So I got all the matchup experience as soon as I needed it. And then after that, soon after, I was good to go. Uh, everything else kind of fell naturally. If I had to describe the professional gaming journey one word, um, enlightenment. Because basically every time you f compete at a tournament, whether you win or lose, you learn something about yourself whether it's in game or out of game. And like competing at top level is literally looking at yourself on a whiteboard and erasing even the smallest like micrometer of a mistake. You're trying to achieve something as close to perfection as you can possibly get. And um, it's a really fast game. It's extremely stressful to play a lot of the time. But um, I think the reason, you know, the top players or the big six as they call them, the reason they're all there is because they have first and foremost, a direct love and passion for the game. If they didn't have so much fun playing it, there's no reason it would have gotten that good. And I don't think any top player really got that good by saying, okay, I play this game only to win. This is not fun, I want to win. Like, no, you love it. You love the way that Nintendo crafted such a perfect fighting game that allows you to be fluid, that allows you to pretty much play jazz with your fingers in a fighting game environment, which perfectly melds a platformer and a 2D fighter, all in one sense of the word. And everyone learns about themselves and each other, so definitely enlightenment. The moment I realized I can do pro gaming was when I went to a tournament called Genesis in 2009 and uh, I got third place, which was at the time one of the biggest tournaments, if not the biggest of all time. And I got third place out of 270 without, you know, and it wasn't like very arduous. It was sort of like, I'm just going to play my game. And I was doing the same thing I did back in Florida and I was just taking games off most people and just beating most people. And um, I beat the Shizwiz, the number one pl ranked player in Florida, when I was in Genesis. And that was, it was actually a very emotional moment for me because um, he was like my, my inspiration and I just beat him in the own game and I felt like I was so, sort of letting Florida down if I lost after that. So it was really stressful. And that was when I broke through. I sort of just got my stuff together and just been like, all right, let's do this. Um, so Genesis won. It was just really crazy that I finally saw myself ranking bronze in a 
worldwide events. That was bizarre to me. Anyone in particular you're interested in playing today? I want to be Mango really bad. I'm tired of... Re I've rephrase, lost... Rephrase the question so you can say it with Anyone I'm interested in beating today uh, and playing today, Mango. I'm tired of losing to that guy. We're like 23-4. and four. It's for horrible and ridiculous and stupid. I've gotten into Game 5 last duck so many times and he's always clutched it out. That's what I want to do. I just want to beat Mango, and most importantly, I want to beat Mango at Evo. If I can prevent the three Evo from happening, I'm going to buy myself the biggest drink and the biggest fried hibachi rice in the world and just be a glutton because I deserve that. So I need to beat him. I need to win everything, too.